All right, y'all, I have two pre-made pie crusts here. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna unroll it carefully. Carefully, hopefully it stays together. Okay, y'all, all right, here we go, great. Whew. Man, y'all, I tried to make this the other day, but I didn't follow the directions. You gotta let these come to room temperature before you use them. Otherwise, it don't work. All right, so what we're gonna do here, we're gonna make this into a square. Or a rectangle, I don't know, square, 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 yeah, square, rectangle. A oh, shape, we're gonna make it into a shape with four sides, yeah, so it's more of a rectangle. All right, and yes, I'm saving this pie crust, I waste nothing. All right, we're cutting this in half, okay? So we're gonna do the same thing with our other, our other pie crust. All right, uh, they're a little bit different in size, but that's okay, we're gonna make it work. All right, so now what we're gonna do, y'all, oh, actually, I know how it's gonna work, duh, wow. So we have this uh, parchment paper lined baking sheet. So we're gonna take one of each of our rectangles or squares that are different shapes, but that's all right. It's all going to the same place. It's gonna be delicious, y'all. So I'm gonna leave these pieces on the side. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna take, I have some jelly. Um, I got the natural strawberry kind, so it's just regular sugar, none of that high fructose corn syrup. So we're gonna put some in each little square. All right, um, and I'm gonna see how much. So y'all can um, make smaller squares. Y'all can do these however you'd like, but you know what, I, li I like fruit filling, so we're gonna put some more. I'm gonna show y'all how much I like to use. All right, I think, I don't know, I think that's good, let's see. This one has a lot, so we're just gonna smash this in. Keep it kind of in the center, all right? So just like that. I feel like that's good, I don't know, I don't know. I can't tell if we should use more or less, I'm not sure. But you know what, I feel like more is good, so that's what we're gonna do. But y'all can do whatever you'd like. You can use any kind of jelly, any kind of jam, make your own jam. Y'all wanna know what? I made my own jam before. It's real fun. All right, so now we're gonna take our second pie crust and we're gonna put it right on top. We're gonna do it for both, okay? So again, these aren't the same size, but that's okay. All right, so now what we're gonna do, we have a little fork here. We're just gonna go around the edges and close it up. Oops, and if you get a little fruit on the outside, that's totally fine, because it's gonna be delicious, y'all. So y'all know what we're making here? Y'all know? Anyone know yet? I'm gonna let y'all guess. Y'all know, though. I bet y'all know. All right, that looks great. Look at these. They look like fruit stuffed ravioli. All right, y'all, so now what we're gonna do here, uh, I'm gonna move this up. I have an egg. I'm gonna crack this right on in. I'm gonna mix it up. Mixy, 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 like that. All right, that's great, perfect. Now we're gonna take uh, our brush and we're just gonna brush some egg wash right on top of our pie crust. All right, like so. All right, all the way on top. And make sure you get the edges, the pretty edges. This is gonna look so pretty, y'all. Um, y'all, this is actually the first time I'm making this. I saw this recipe online, so I wanted to try it, but uh, homemade Pop-Tarts, y'all. So, I mean, make it, making it yourself, has to be better than buying it at the store. At least you know what ingredients is in it. I mean, yeah. And maybe next time I'll make my own pie crust. Make all y'all happy out there, all right? I do my best. I do my best. All right. All right, y'all, so that looks great. So we're gonna put this in the oven at 425 for about eight minutes, and then uh, we're gonna make a little topping for these. All right, y'all, look at that. We have our homemade Pop-Tart. Some of the jelly came out, but uh, that's all right. I actually put these in the fridge for a few minutes to cool off so we can we can uh, do our next step. So I'm just gonna move these onto this uh, little cutting board sheet and move this to the side. All right, so at this point, y'all, y'all can do whatever you'd like to these. So if you wanna make them more like streusel, you can. If you wanna make them like a Pop-Tart, you can. So I'm gonna take, um, I have some uh, cream cheese frosting right here. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on each one, like so, and then I'm gonna spread it out. Y'all also, if y'all just want to leave them plain, you can. You don't even have to put frosting on here, all right? If you just want to do a little, like, drizzle, you can. All right, so we're just doing that. That looks great. That's good enough frosting for me, I think. Let's do this one as well. All right, a little bit more for this one. Y'all want to make your own frosting, you can too, all right? I'm going to have the frosting police after me. All the police, they all after me. I don't know why, I'm a good person. All right, y'all, so now, again, leave it like this or do something fun. Look, I have some sprinkles. Look, make these fun for kids, little sprinkles like that. 
Or you can also do uh, some of this like glitter sprinkles. Let's see, I'm gonna use purple, I like purple. Let's see, come on, come on out. Come on, there we go. Look at that, that looks so pretty. I feel like we need one more color though. What else should we use? Let's see, pink? All right, pink. Pink shows up good. All right, look at that, y'all. We have homemade Pop-Tarts or toaster strudels, whatever you want to call them. So uh, time to try one. You can put these in the fridge and then reheat them as you'd like as well. But let's cut this in half. I'm going to try it. I think this is going to be so good, y'all. Actually, we're going to cut it in fourths. Fourths. That's a hard word to say. All right, y'all, look at that. Look at that. We have that strawberry jelly inside. Frosting, y'all, I already know this is going to be good. I've never made these before, but look at this. I'm excited. I, I loved Pop-Tarts when I was a kid. All right. Mmm. Mm. Y'all. Mmm. Some jelly just came out of my mouth. I'm going to give that piece to my husband, Fred. He'll be real excited. Um, He's laughing over there. Y'all, these are so good. Y'all have to make these. Mmm.